everyone. So welcome to Teacher Ines Tutorials and Stories. So this is channel, I will be discussing a lot of things on how to use the different applications such as Microsoft Office, Google Apps, and a lot of things that will be helpful as an educator, as a student, and as a user of those applications that I will be sharing. Please stay tuned to my channel and do not forget to click the subscription button button share it with your friends happy watching our lesson for today is how to set time and date limit in google form hello everyone welcome back to teacher ines tutorials and stories okay so now this is the continuation of google form tutorial so now one of my colleagues uh tinanong ako kung pwede daw mag set ng limit ay halimbawa um, to tomorrow ng 12 noon or ng 1 o'clock. Yes, pwede yon. So, paano po ang gagawin natin? Punta ka po dito sa tatlong dots. Punta ka po sa add-ons. At ilalagay po natin or ahanapin natin gaya ng pag naghahanap tayo sa Google Meet ng extensions. Ang hahanapin po natin instead of typing here, eh, kasi andito na din, form limiter. So, kailangan po natin itong form limiter. So, ano ang gamit nito? This form limiter, kaya sabi dito, so, uh, limit, balik tayo dito, limit to maximum number of responses. So, halimbawa, meron kang studyanteng uh, 30, pag nag-31 or 32, hindi na sila pag nagsobra na doon. At the same time, Set custom notice when closed. So, ibig sabihin, pwede mong i-customize yung mensahe mo kung once na hindi na pwede pumasok doon or makapagsagot yung mga estudyante mo or yung respondents. And, at the same time, get notified when form closes. So, ikaw din, you will be notified na, ay, tapos na yung pagsagot. Uh, alimbawa, tapos na, nag-beyond na ng saying, Anong sabi ko, 12 o'clock kanina. So, halimbawa, 12.01 na, 12.02. So, hindi na mag accept ng respondent yon So, you can also set your time and your schedule. And also, sheet link forms can have can have a limit tied to a cell's values. Okay? So, pwedeng ganyan. Pero, we will not be uh, discussing that. Doon lang tayo kung paano mag-set. Okay? Magsiset lang tayo ng oras. At kung kailan, okay? I-schedule lang natin. So, oops, sorry. Inalis ko na yung add-ons. And then, i-click natin ang form limiter. And then, we will install that. Install it. So, now, every time we are installing something, kahit hindi ito, mga add-ons or extensions, so, needs per it needs your permission in order to start installing. Basahin natin yan. Pero ngayon, kasi gamit ko lang ay dami account ko. So, wala naman ako mga personal staff here. Okay, except for the, the one that are being submitted by my student. Kasi if you will be reading everything, see yung, yung form limiter daw, you are allowing uh, it to see, edit, create, and delete all of your Google Drive files. So, there is a possibility na mawawala yung files mo. Okay? At madami pang iba. So, if you are prepared for that, so, gamitin mo kung ano yung account na sa tingin mo ay pwede. Pero kung hindi ka prepared, wala naman problema. So, let's click allow. Kasi dami ko lang naman ito. So, once you click that, so, let's, let's wait for a while and then click done. Now, pag tapos na po siya, so, parang merong nag-pop out dito sa gilid, sa right part, i-minimize lang muna natin at i-close na natin to. Now, andito na po siya, this is the additional button that was added when you inserted an add-ons. You click that and then click form limiter. Okay, now, we will set the limit. So, lalabas po dito sa right side, form limiting, okay, limiter form limiter, and then what do you want to limit? You, do you want to limit the date and time, the number of form responses, or the spreadsheet value? 
So, I will not discuss the spreadsheet cell values. Pwede naman yan, pero dito lang muna ako sa dalawa magpo-focus. Date and time. So, when we click the date and time, you choose, halimbawa, ngayon, at uh, magsiset ako ng, uh, kunwari, 10.15, uh, 10.10, so 10. And then, uh, sabihin na natin 10.10. And then, it's PM. So, it was set already. So, we will check if this account, okay, pag nag 10, 10 na dito sa clock ko, so, hindi na dapat ako makaka-respond dito. So, now, this part, message when submission are closed. So, pwede mo tong i-edit this. Uh, you can customize that. So, as of now, I will just stick on it. Okay, kasi I will be notified and then it will be sent automatically okay, by the uh, by the one who creates uh, the one who created this form or kaya yung email address mo so and then save and enable okay so uh, pag tapos na nakalabas naman siya na save na so kunwari magre response tayo so it's 10.04 okay so uh, kunwari magsasagot tayo ang naklik ko is the summary for responses so, how will you do that? You click the preview button, and then you answer, example, ito, okay, and then, sorry name ko, kunwari, kugola, ay, iba naman, kunwari, betsyida, and then, section ko, kunwari, orange, uh, kunwari, mali, 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 mali yung mga answer ko, ay, hindi ko nabasahin, mag-add na ako ng file, okay, add, kunwari, ako ng file, and then that is in the form of uh, documents. Dito na lang ako sa example. Okay, nasaan na yung example ko dito? Mm -hmm. Kunwari, meron ako example. Okay, open. Now, uh, after that, click upload. And then it is uploading. So, one, two. Okay, done. Submission ID. Okay, you may skip this field kung gusto mo. Okay. So, submission ID, skip this field, do not edit this field or time will not be recorded. So, uh, hindi ko na kasi yun na, na edit ka, kanina, na modify. So, alimbawa, submission ID ko is 1, 2, 3. Kunwari lang. Kunwari lang. And then, send me a copy of my responses. Ikaw mismo yung nagsasagot. Meron kang kopya ng uh, sagot mo din. Submit. So, once it was submitted, so, makikita na natin doon sa summary kung ilan yung uh, nag-answer ng uh, question mo. Okay? So, ayan. View, view score. So, yung respondent mo, uh, automatically makikita niya kung ilan yung score. Or, kasi hindi ko na pinag-isipan yun. Okay po. Ayan. So, let's go back. Oh, so, we still have 4 minutes. So, mamaya, okay, sabihin natin 4 minutes na lang. So, ito yun yung lumabas kanina na kapag answer ako. So, close ko lang to Close ko lang. Balik tayo dito sa responses. Okay, ang nakikita niya dalawa na yung responses. Meron din uh, summary question kung meron. And then, individual, this one. Okay. Now, punta tayo sa summary. Pag nagsasummary po ang Google Form, meron na siyang char chart. So, pinapakita din dito yung email address. Ilan yung mga responses mo. So, uh, ito yung pinakamaganda. So, uh, because it was summarized already. Meron na silang report. So, hindi na uh, mag-iisip pa yung gumawa, mag-generate ng report. So, pwede na yung Google uh, form itself. Pwede na po. Okay, let's go back. So, Again, let's have a recap habang naghihintay tayo ng 10.10. Okay, so let's do a recap. You click the three dots, choose add-ons, and then on the add-on part, you choose the form limiter. Okay, so yan, form limiter. Makikita nyo naman, installed na siya. Now, nakalimutan ko pa lang sabihin dun sa um, unang vlog ko na Google Form. So, pwede mo siyang, uh, halimbawa, may nagpadala sa'yo ng Google Form because you are one of the editors. So, pwede i-click mo yung make a copy pero meron kang kopya ng sarili mo. 
if you will be working with a certain project at you are div you you are included in a certain group or office pero iba-iba meron lang kayong isang format pero iba-iba yung respondent nyo uh, pwede tong gawin uh, make a copy but before that you add a collaborators so pwede mo din ipacheck ito sa coordinator mo eh, sa boss mo kung meron sila para mas mapadali ang pag-edit because they can modify that so pwede mo ilagay kunwari okay you, and then you are allowing them to be an editor so and then that's the time you click send I cancel ko lang muna so ganyan po ang paggawa ng google form na merong uh, limitations for set setting and then time and then pwede din po kayo makipag-collab so para um, easy din sa boss nyo ng pag uh, pag check okay they can modify that outright next yung uh, ito yung step uh, alimbawa papadala mo na siya okay so pwedeng sinabi ko nga pwedeng manually or i-click mo yung link button and then ang nakalagay dito shorten URL if nakikita mo mahaba yung URL niya pero pag clinic natin to so you will be given a shorter one mas maganda po ito para pa, kung gusto mong magtipid din so pwede din po ito okay so ito yung kagandahan so we have only one minute left now pwede mo kasi siyang i-share directly sa social media sa Twitter and then sa Facebook and let's go back Alright, so let's go back here. So, ang nakikita nyo ay title. Now, hintayin lang natin na maging 10-10 para makita nyo kung ano ang, uh, anong mangyayari kung nakalak na siya. Yung timify, meron din itong timer na add-on. Pero, uh, once na nilagay kasi natin yung timify na add-on, okay, punta tayo sa add-ons, once na nilagay natin yun, uh, pag naklik na natin yung um, form limiter so hindi na wala na yung option na set it, okay, yung set up so ito yung pangit din sa timer pero from the word itself, timer yung susante ay uh, time bounded let's say you you give him 10 minutes lang 15 minutes, so pwede yon at lalabas na at maglala so pwede din ito sa form limiter because in the form limiter, so pwede kang mag-set ng date ahead of time. And at the same time, you can also, uh, you are also ba time bounded. Okay? So, 10-11 na. Papakita ko lang sa inyo kung paano. Ayan, nakita nyo. Not accepting responses. So, lalabas din. Kanina, di ba, wala to. So, you are notified that there uh, you cannot accept any responses from anyone. Example, sabihin natin gusto ko makita yon. Ano ang kakalabasan? Ayan, nandito na po. This form is no longer accepting responses and has been set to automatically close kung sino yung gumawa. Okay po? So, I will end up here and I hope may natutunan po kayo. Have a great day and please do not wear, uh, do not forget to stay healthy.